So let me start with creating a new entity. So as I mentioned, like first we have an uh, customer's uh, entity and uh, and create it here. And then we have different attributes. Let us say we have customer ID and uh, as I told, like we have a number for customer ID. Is a number numeric is there? Yeah. Numeric and then we have address. What is the other column we have put? Name city, okay. Okay, so now we created uh, the custom one entity and uh, all those attributes. And uh, now I want to add some constraints. Uh, so so I want to keep customer ID as primary key. So you can see I am putting this primary key here. Okay, and apply. So now you can see uh, this is customer ID is set as primary key. You can see that hash symbol uh, just next to the customer ID. So that tells uh, customer ID is a primary key for our uh, customer's table. Okay. The second uh, table is orders. So just keep that second uh, second entity. It's a uh, orders table. And uh, we're putting some attributes also here. Order ID. Yeah, customer ID, right? Customer ID not ID. Order date. Order columns. Quantity. We have one more thing. Quantity and uh, inventory ID. This is number. This is the second one. Third one, we have got uh, inventory. Okay, so putting the third object here. Uh, attributes here. Okay. 
100 will be availability so now uh, i think uh, we have to create the primary key here Okay, so now we are done with uh, three things, uh, customer ID, customers, orders and inventory. Now we have got all the entities and attributes. Now uh, we have to put the relationship like as I stated. So as I mentioned, customer ID is to order is an uh, one to many relationship, right? Uh, here uh, in after we create the entities, we have uh, uh, certain arrows like you can see, uh, like uh, these, these define like what are the relationship between them. It's like uh, there's one to one and one to n and uh, yeah, m to n. Okay, so here like uh, uh, we have, we are going to choose one to n customers and orders. So this is in source and this is in target. And uh, you can see like uh, there's certain things like uh, what is the source to target cardinality. I put yes. So you can see uh, it is the relationship between the two entities are created. And uh, the next step would be the inventory to orders. How they're defined. So here I'm going to put another one to many. So now uh, the 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 major benefit of this uh, SQL developer is SQL data modeler is even if you don't know how to create a table, also it does uh, it does it for you. So once you create an uh, um, a model uh, in in uh, the graphical way like just I shown it uh, now we have all the uh, relationship entities the attributes and relationship between them okay so now like uh, we need to uh, generate in uh, the physical model so once we what we have to do is we have this uh, logical model here and uh, we need to generate an uh, physical physical model for it. So this is an option. Uh, OK, so engineer to relation model you can see here. 
So once we do engineer and uh, it tells, so here we can see uh, it just creates uh, one more relationship model. I think uh, once one second, let me show you once one thing. I can we, we can select the logical data type. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then now we have to uh, generate the DDL. For all these things. You go to the view section. Yeah, so if you go to the view section, you can select the database type also. As I mentioned, our uh, physical data model is more related to a database. You can see you can select SQL Server or DB2 or, or, or Oracle 12C or the based on the version also. So here, let us say I am putting 11G. And if you put generate here. So it generates all the details also for you. So we have a customer table and uh, yeah, because we have not given the precision, we are getting some errors, but uh, I think we can uh, correct that. So you can see we have customers table here and uh, we have a primary key here for the customer table. As we created in the data model, we have an inventory table which has out got all the book related information and we have and here we have primary key for the uh, inventory table and here orders okay so here uh, here i think I, i'll see like why we have got uh, uh, another uh, two columns as primary key but uh, but this it should be the case like this okay two two uh, columns as primary key and these are the primary key uh, things like uh, is a constraint in orders table which refers it which uh, references the customer ID here because uh, as I mentioned that relationship uh, put uh, there in the data model it reflects in the form of the scripts. Given the orders again it represents to the inventory based on the inventory ID. So uh, we can just take these scripts and we can go to the NSQL uh, developer and we can execute one by one. So in that way, our without much effort, we can without writing any of the scripts just by uh, doing an GUI uh, approach, we can uh, run these particular scripts in, in our SQL developer.